we are responsible for providing the general overview of food security situation in Nigeria. We have um, a device and in it we have what we call the, the open data kit. We get prices on common things like rice to understand the price trend. It helps us know when these things increase, that means there's need. By the day, they're actually growing. Uh, technology has moved on a huge amount during the time that I've been working in humanitarian action and we as humanitarians have to adapt to learn how to use that technology to make uh, what we do more effective. I just wanted to review with you, you have here that the average transfer value is around $100. In February 2017, I was deployed to Somalia to support drought response efforts. And one of the most effective ways of responding was to give cash and vouchers to affected people that they were able to use on the local market to buy food. My role was to support the coordination of cash-based assistance. There were 70 partners delivering cash using a variety of modalities. Our extremely efficient colleagues at the Humanitarian Data Exchange were managing and visualising very quickly the huge amount of data that we had from partners who were delivering cash and having the data really helped and it's really effective change on the ground. One of the most exciting things about the Centre for Humanitarian Data is that in addition to housing the Humanitarian Data Exchange, this will also build a community of bringing together data experts, data scientists and humanitarians to think about how can we use the data that we have about humanitarian action, humanitarian need, to build a leaner, stronger, better system which delivers more effectively for the people that need assistance most at the right time. The Centre for Humanitarian Data in The Hague is going to help move us in Ocha from the leadership position we have now to a world leading position in using data to solve humanitarian problems. The Hague Centre is going to help us be much better at predicting the next problems and so accelerate action which will lead to better action, cheaper action, more lives saved, more lives protected. We face unprecedented humanitarian need. The gap between need and resources is growing every day and that only means that we have to make sure that we use the resources at our disposal more efficiently and data plays a really key role in that. So that's why we're so excited about the Centre for Humanitarian Data in The Hague.